Good morning from Magic Kingdom. We're about to turn the corner and see the beautiful castle right there at the end of Main Street. Oh my goodness, isn't it gorgeous? Great way to start the day. So today's a pretty special day here at Magic Kingdom. Of course, it's weather permitting. We'll see if it actually happens, but the Thunderbirds are gonna be here doing a flyover. I think they're gonna be going right over Cinderella Castle. I'm looking forward to this. Now, I don't remember why the Thunderbirds are here. I wanna say it's something about Military Appreciation Month. I'd have to look that up. I'll put it in if I figure it out. But they're gonna be here. I, if you didn't know this about me, I have a thing for fighter jets. I like, well, not just fighter jets. Planes I think are cool. I really like machines. I like stuff like that. So anyway, really looking forward to this. This is like one of those things that I would have never thought I could experience and hopefully I can. So we're gonna do that today. But it's not happening until 9.30. So it's going to be two passes at 9.30. So we have enough time to do something. Question is, what are we going to do? Now I would normally start my day with a roller coaster, but oh look, Buzz is not here. We're going to do Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Why not? Seems like a good way to start the day. Okay, so we did Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. I only got 720,500. Not great, but don't tell Russ. But now, we are on the TTA People Mover. And I mean, where else would I rather be right now? First up, progress. Attention all visitors from Galaxy M31. Please keep forward-facing tentacles clear of oncoming vehicles. Thank you. I got off the People Mover. I love that ride, it's so much fun. And now we're here by the Tomorrowland Speedway and I wanted to share a little bit of information with you that you might not be aware of. So floating around the internet, I saw someone talking about how these run on diesel and Disney should really upgrade that. Let's take a second and clarify something. First and foremost, these are not diesel vehicles. They're small engine gas powered vehicles. In other words, they're similar to a dirt bike. They actually kind of sound like a two-stroke, smell like one too, um, or a lawnmower or something like that. These are small motors, easy to work on, cheap, cheap to work on, and they're really resilient. And that's one of the reasons I can almost guarantee that Disney went with this type of motor in these vehicles because of all of that cheap, easy, and whatnot. Now, people have said, why not change them to some sort of electric motor. There could be any number of reasons, but here's my guess as to why they don't go that route. So first and foremost, electric vehicles, they don't have the same resilience. Um, they need to cool off, they get really hot, and sometimes bad things happen when they are overworked. So that's not really something you want to happen to a vehicle that's gonna be running all day long for like, goodness how long do these vehicles run over 12 hours sometimes 16 in some cases so you really don't want to run into that which like I said if I were gonna guess is probably the reason that they don't go with electric but as far as like aesthetics and vibe ambiance there's just nothing like the sound of that for a kid who's getting behind the wheel of a car imagine just like sitting in silence as you're going around the track that wouldn't be that fun. I really don't think that the attraction could survive a transformation like that. Unless they went the route of doing something similar to like what the new electric Hummer is doing where they have like a rumble feature in the vehicle and a sound feature to give you the experience of being in an actual car with a motor versus a electric or a car with an engine versus an electric motor. I don't know, um, but that also is going to be very, very expensive. Something that these vehicles aren't. So, I don't know. That's just what I think about that. But anyway, I've got a little bit of time and I'm trying to decide what I want to do. 
I, I feel like I want a snack, but I have snacks. So maybe I'll just eat a snack out of my pouch, out of my my little fanny pack. Let's, let's do that. I, I'm very tempted though to go over here to the Cheshire Cafe and get something, but I'm gonna save that for later. We're gonna save that for later. Okay, I got my spot. This seems like as good as any to see the Thunderbirds fly over. I looked it up and this is to kick off military veterans and military families veterans national veterans and military family families <laughs> oh boy i looked it up and this is to kick off national veterans and military families appreciation month which is november so that's pretty cool so we're gonna check this out and uh hopefully i'll share it with you military families month that begins in november the Magic Kingdom is pleased to welcome the United States Air Force Thunderbirds! Watching the Thunderbirds go over Cinderella Castle was absolutely magical. There's no way around it. I've spent a lot of time around lots of military aircraft and it's always cool. This was magic. Anyway, um, we need to go into Memento Mori and check out the chess set that is supposedly here. So let's do that now. So unfortunately, the chess set that I was taking a look at is the Haunted Mansion chess set. It's just not for us. Um, you can go look it up. I'll put some pictures if you're interested. But I don't, I don't like the way it looks. I just don't, it looks cheap. And it's a hundred bucks, so <laughs> there's that. But while I was in the Haunted Mansion, I finally got an opportunity to talk to one of the cast members who works over there. And not the Haunted Mansion, I should say, um, while I was at Memento Mori. And this gentleman, um, apparently he's been working there for 35 years and he is just magic personified. Uh, every time I'm in there, every time that I like manage to make my way into the shop, he is there and he's always interacting with the kids. He's just, he's an amazing cast member um, and so I wanted to get his name. Uh, so I did, and I had the opportunity to talk to him for a minute, and it was just, it was great. So, you know, they say cast members are magic. Cast members are magic. They really are. I talked to another great cast member as well this morning over at Buzz Lightyear. She was fantastic. I wish I got her name. Maybe we'll go back over there and see if we can stumble into her again, because I would love to put in a cast compliment for her. Man. Just, I just don't remember. Anyway, let's keep moving. I hear Pirates doesn't have too long a line, so maybe we'll do that next. Okay, we're back in Tomorrowland. We gotta do Space Mountain. It only has a 25 minute wait, so like, why not? We're already here. I love this ride. Now, I will say, this is a rough coaster. It's feeling its age, and so too do I when I ride it. But, I mean, it's fun! Just too much fun not to do if there's such a short wait. Man, that was so much fun. Love that ride. Okay, that's it for today. Making our way back to the ferry. Heading to the car. All right, almost there, almost at the car. We're parked super close today. We rope dropped, so we were here in time to park right there, which is great. Nothing like parking super close and not having to go through all of the, you know, like tram and long walks. This is actually just behind priority parking, which is pretty empty right now, but I bet I bet it'll fill up. It's around 11 o'clock, so things start to fill up around this time. But 
Today was really great. I had such a good day. It was nice to be here and see the Thunderbirds, which is something I've always wanted to do. I want to see the Blue Angels too. I haven't yet, but it's on my list. So that's going to be cool one day. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll catch him one day. And because today was a party day, the crowds were pretty light. So we got a chance to go on a few different attractions with almost no weight, which was great too. But now it's time to find the car. I know I'm in this next row, so I'm gonna cross over here. Make it a little bit easier to see. I know I'm parked next to a big truck. Not this one, but I am parked next to a big truck. Um, did I take note of exactly where I parked? No, of course I didn't. I'm not perfect. Will I probably walk past the car three or four times? Of course I will. What do you think this is? All right, we're back in the car. We found it. Only passed by it once. I say that's pretty good, if you ask me. Today was a really great day, though. Um, I just, I had a good time. I got done what I wanted to get done. Oh, remember how I said I wanted to put in a cast compliment for that cast member, but I didn't know her name? I was able to get her name. Oh, it's so exciting. So I was able to do that. But yeah, the only thing I didn't get a chance to do was the recommendation from that cast member to go eat at the plaza. I don't even know if I would have been able to make a reservation or anything, but I'm just not hungry right now. I don't know like when I'll be able to get in. So I was like, put a pin in that. We'll come back to it. But yeah, it was a really great day. I had a good time. I hope you had a good time joining me for this one. Um, it might have been just kind of a quick one. I, I never know for sure as I sit here, like how long we've been hanging out. Um, but feels like a while because we were here since eight o'clock this morning. Now it's about to be noon. So um, that said, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button, do all that stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.